Do they look like rip off Heartless? <laughs> yeah, they actually kind of look like Heartless, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. I don't know, I don't, I doubt they I didn't really, think about that. I don't, I doubt they really thought about that, but yeah, they, they're scarily similar to Heartless. Mm -hmm. Really ugly Heartless. His level design is actually very really expansive. I'm, no I'm looking around it right now. Yeah. There goes Oswald. Okay, he's just being a tool. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yeah, these things. Yep. Yeah, so if she. Uh, depending on how much you uh, pay or thinner things, um, your. This meal will go up, and if it's blue, then. You can use like a special ability. Or and the same way you can do the same thing with the yeah, the guardians will uh you really do stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is very mind over me with this uh, those like drawings. I reminded those Tom and Jerry cartoons where Tom always planning out his stuff. Mm. Oh, yeah, right, right. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. The meter on the, it says your guardians. Mm. It doesn't fill up that quickly, so false advertising for the win. But, you know. I, 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 pre I, I don't use them more for combat purposes, I just use them for the purposes of, uh, of, uh, you know, because they, they help you all locate secrets. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Alright. What's the missing from this? Oh, uh, I think they're all light right now. It, oh, it is a little bit weird what's selected with the paint thinner. You know what I mean? And when you consider what the world you're in, everything really should be affected? Yeah. It's true, but I can understand. I understand why they didn't from a ga gameplay perspective, because that would be like a complete mess. Mm -hmm. Like you could just delete fall into the, ab the abyss right now. You just destroy everything and you just break the game. I mean, I wish you could do more, change more things with with Paint and Finna, but still. I also like how they're kind of using like the classic Mickey design um, for this. Yeah. Which is funny because in the like the fast forward part in the intro, like you saw the yeah. Mickey with the regular eyes. Yeah. I found a wrench. Good job. Yeah, boy. By the time Yensid was introduced, the Mickey was already he already had his normal quote unquote eyes. Yeah, because like there was even a. Uh, it's like, I've never seen, like, a bit of Sorcerer's Apprentice in there, too. Yeah. Like, Mickey got, like, Mickey lost the pie eyes, like, like pretty early. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I... I do prefer him with actual eyes, but... You know... Whatever. Which, uh, cause now I'm mining, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 when we hit, um, uh, the... What's it called, Kindly, Uh, Kindly the, River. uh... Yeah. Yeah. That is, a, that is one of the best Kingdom Hearts worlds visually. Mm -hmm. oh, I, I also love, you know, the whole bit with the, uh, you know, like, like everything has, like, a sound a sound filter. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Clearly, Mickey was, you know, the reason why Mickey's on it is because clearly he was playing the Heartless. Oh, man. Was, that's the one the best thing in 0.2. Yeah, so after this game... Pretend, let's just pretend that Mickey 2 didn't happen. It was like, <laughs> this game happened, and Kingdom Hearts happened, apparently. I don't know. What did that happen in, uh, in uh, Mickey 2? Um... Like, some... Uh, going off from memory, um... Some random earthquake happened. Um, the mad the doctor, doctor, the mad doctor swears that he's reformed, 
and then they send Mickey to help, and then stuff happens. Wasn't the Mad Doctor also like singing or something? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what he does in that game. That was, that was great. <laughs> There's voice acting in too as well. Yeah, we finally have to hear Oswald with a voice. I think they did a pretty good job of that. I think they're using the current Mickey voice during that. Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think they were using the original Mickey, or the original as in the, uh, for Mickey, in, in terms of like, uh, like, I think from like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse kind of like oh, cartoon. Gosh. Dog, dog, diggity dog. Okay, but like they were using that kind of voice for the longest time, including in Kingdom Hearts until Dream Drop Distance, I think. Um, no, Birth by Sleep. That's when uh, Wayne Allwine. That's after Wayne Allwine passed away. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's like he's been doing. He was doing the voice since the 70s, actually. Wow. Um, yeah, he passed. Wait. Brett Ewan, if that's how you pronounce his name, took over in 2010. And he's been doing them. He's been a primary voice since then. Right, okay. He's doing the voice in Epic Mickey and Epic Mickey 2. Okay. Even though in here it's mainly just, ho, oh, oh. Yeah, it's just Bando Kazooie grunting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. More or less, yeah. <laughs> uh. What are you? Uh, what are you trying? You, you're wondering what you're trying to do right now. Reach the to the maintenance area. Then you can do the spinning cup ride. Crap. I think you're hitting the right way. You gotta fix that bridge over there. I think. Oh, that's where you went. Okay. I thought I was close. Well, it's sometimes yeah, because it's been a while since. Sometimes I forget. Like I, I worry, wondering what's plot and what's not. Yeah. You know, there are oh, quite a bit of side things you can do along your main path. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's nonsense. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Oh. Hey, wait, wait, can you, can you do that wall behind you? Yeah, I can. I can well, not that, another one that leads into the ride. The one, like, right to, right, to, more to the left. Down. That, that green wall over in the end, because it looks too bright. Maybe? No. Nope. Right. Yeah, because I'm trying to look for a lot of bright stuff. Yeah, that's the main thing you want to look out for. It's a rat hole after all. <laughs> oh, God. Let's get back up. Well, hold on, I think the, yeah, you're going that way anyways, right? Mm. Mickey, Mickey's jump looks kind of heavy, actually. Uh, it can be. It can be a little bit heavy sometimes. The squash and stretch making him look like he's lingering on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he has like a. Yeah, yeah you're right, because it looks like he's like delaying the jump slightly. Yeah, and again, and of course, the Mario Galaxy hover spin. Yeah, it's not as useful as that, but. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. It's what you want to. And it does work for the most part. Oh crap. Oh god. Oh. Uh, also what? very banned Kazooie, actually what I'm looking at is the health bar. Yeah, I've never played Banjo Kazooie. It's constantly going down and like, and sorry, once it goes down, you like, see Mickey getting a little bit more like, uh oh. That's one thing I will admit that uh, is done better in Kazooie over Tui. Is that in Tui it's more of a uh, like, static image, which kind of... Oh, yeah, right, and Kazooie, it, like, it progressively shows him getting more hurt. Yeah. Kind of a shame. Eventually... Um, they have a similar image in Ukulele, but it's, um, but static. Uh, alright, well... It doesn't, like, kill the game or anything. But it's a nice little character. It gives the game a little bit of character. Uh, and then there's that kind of stuff happening where you 
there's something in the way and you, and you can't aim your paint and thinner properly. Yeah, one thing I don't... Uh, one thing I sorry. don't miss about the Wii is the kind of walk cursor at times. Um, it's, I think it's the best part of the motion controls, but sometimes it doesn't work the best. It really depends... It ultimately depends on your setup at the end of the day. Sometimes you just need to use a control stick. Yeah. I just want to cope with any controls I have to work with. Here, oh, open I think you had to jump gamers. up there. Huh? What? Oh, wait, can I... can, but does that even matter? I don't think so. Hopefully there's no delay between us, because I want to... I don't think there is. Or Skype con constantly, occasionally roboing on us. Oh, okay, the these are interesting. So, um... Basically, if you use paint or thinner in these, it changes certain things. Um... I don't particularly remember, like, what most of the thinner stuff does, but I think we're gonna go mostly paint. Yes. What do you guys think? Paint. Alright. Right. It was another one of those morality yeah. things, right? Yeah, like you can't do like half paint, half thinner. You have to go all the way, all the way. Yeah, it, it was big stops to give you a chance to change your mind. But once that tank's filled, that's your, your, your path is set. Yeah, you can't change off of that. Because, like, as Gus said, it locks. Yep. I just wonder what a bunch of these small cubbies are for, though, anyways, when there's nothing in them. Mm, how do I get this chest? Burning. Gameplay. Yeah. I think I prefer linear 3D platformers. <laughs> When it's a game like Magic Azuri, where the appeal is like collecting things, I enjoy that, but when it's like very cryptic stuff like this in an open environment, it can be kind of tedious. Oh, it was blocked off. That fight was in the way. Oh, right. Wow. I feel so much better. You, now you want to open the door. Now we can get that chest. You know we can just leave this place. I'm tired of seeing it. Oh, we're not done with this hub world. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we, yeah, I think we come back later. So how much of the game have you seen then? This is farther than I ever got. Yeah. Well, I mean, have you seen any like game? I generally didn't pay any mind to it. Uh, didn't really interest you. I think I just kind of forgot this game existed, honestly. Yeah, I, I can understand that. I honestly... Oh wow, I actually started looking away from the footage, that's how... I honestly forgot to forget the sequel exists half the time. I mean, it has some memorable moments this game, but <laughs> I, do I don't think this is what, this is kind of funny, but I don't think this is where, what they were aiming for, but it's pretty forgettable, which is funny considering the context of the game. I don't want to say, I, I, I wish it wasn't intentional. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, my, uh, by accidentally clicking videos trying to get to the, trying to find the guide, uh, what I accidentally did was click on the uh, newest Super Game Bros. Smackdown Sunday. Oh, really? What is it? Um, Erg Guys in God Bless the Ring, and it has Final Fantasy characters. Oh, uh, that game. Have you played that? I've seen gameplay. What is it? 
Isn't that where Cloud got like some of his moveset or something like his dash? What? Um, er, er guys, however you pronounce it, I think it's German. Um, uh, it's a 3D fighting game by SquareSoft that had some characters from Final Fantasy VII in it. Okay. Got a lot of, got a lot of characters from Final Fantasy VII actually. Because Final Fantasy VII. That game made money. Let's not lie to ourselves. At the end of the day, that's what business is for. I still can't believe he's in Smash Bros. Although, once you uh, end up abusing uh, that, uh, like your consumers or whatever, that can really bite you in the rear in the long run. Like, I think Capcom nearly, I, I think it was Capcom that nearly got bankrupt because people were fed up with like all the stuff they were putting. Um, was, it, was it Konami you're talking about? Capcom. Um, I don't think it, I don't think Konami nearly got back bro. They just Konami is good actually. Uh, I don't. I, how much like are they financially stable? Uh yeah, games if anything were a noose around their neck, not a big source of revenue. Yeah, like, they just, do. It's just a problem like uh, Konami's really like bad. They treat their foundation really bad. I actually saw this one picture, picture set on Tumblr. It's like, uh, this is the, the, um, has anyone ever seen the episode where, uh, of Spongebob where Mr. Krab, and where they were trying to make a, like, a Krusty Krab, like, commercial? Yeah. Okay, it basically had, um, and Mr. Krabs was Konami. And he's like, uh, it's like, yeah, I hear all of you, everybody's leaving, you can see, you can see, like, uh, Silent Hill. Uh, Metal Gear Solid leaving, and but then like a climb, and then there's like a climb of you go over and he, and he goes, except you, you say. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, these guys, I remember these guys. The 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 brooms were coming, were really annoying. He uh, never used that clown in the commercial. When there's like a that, group, that's, that's probably about the joke. That's yeah, when there's that's like that's a group, that's like, that's they can be a little that's bit that's annoying, but because um, because they have range attacks. Yeah, but. Most of the time, a lot of enemies are pretty, uh, simple. Trigo? Or Trigo? Trigo! Hyperion? Hyperion? Hmm. What in the world? What are these names? I think it's- Um, they're better than the names in, uh, in Pokemon Coliseum. I think. I mean, have you seen enemy, those names? Yeah, enemies get a little bit more interesting when, like, we see like Mad Doctor robots or whatever. But even then, the well, that oh, that's when it requires a spin attack, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah. Even then, though, that, that's like really late in the game. And yeah. You know what I'm gonna do for the hell of it right now? I'm gonna go look up a song. Of, I'm gonna go look a video of the Mad Doctor singing. Okay. Oh, man. Help me. Help you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay, let's see. I will say, that Two does look pretty nice. Yeah, it's just a shame that it was First thing I got when I put in Epic to the first thing I put up was Mad Doctor song. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's Help Me Help You. Right here. That was the intro song, I guess. <clears throat> okay, it's just here I can put all the songs. Maybe. <laughs> if, you, if you don't mind hearing 13 minutes of him singing. Uh, no thank you. And then I'll just do Help Me Help You. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Yep. Oh, he, Oslo doesn't think he's having any of this. Mm. 
pulled you out. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that works. More suicidal than a green Koopa. Why is he singing? Uh, is there even a reason, Scrappy? I don't remember. remember. Uh, I think the developer just wanted to make it a Disney musical. <laughs> Isn't there a bit where it's like he, like Oswald was trying to say what he wanted to say, and he's like, he, but then the Mad Doctor wants him to sing it too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does that. <laughs> he has like, he's like really hugged. Uh, really? Let's see if we can find that. <laughs> Maybe it's the second song I can forget. I hope it's the second song, because I'm going to have to skip press. Help me help you. Yeah, this playthrough is going to be all over the place in terms of commentary. <laughs> so... In the text, I like how every line is, is divided by, with like, hashtag, with like, like, forward that, like, side slashes. Jones? You don't trust me as I know. I was an evil greedy tool, but that was long ago. And now this man, my doctor, is no longer really mad. <laughs> what? I threw myself around. If I could help you, I'd be glad. But danger is coming, and blood works is your name. The blood thing's made some weapons, it's a shame, yes, it's a shame. The weapons, the earthquakes, it's not a happy day. The wasteland is in danger, I would say. Hey, Doc, you okay? <laughs> That's like, come on. Oh yeah, his robot's called Beetleworks. Yep. Is that olive oil? Hey, Mad Doctor's back. I know what he's doing. He has a lot of on your frequency. I do I do like a lot of the cutscenes in Epic Mickey too, I wouldn't say that much. <sighs> it looks very style yeah, everything looks very Yeah, the cutscenes they like just having voice acting, that simple addition makes them so much more fun to watch. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot he's a robot. Okay, I'll pause. I'll, I'll pause the songs. Yeah, so I don't, I don't want that happening for like a whole bar. If it make two, if it make you part two, if, if, if it make you two, the musical. And since we saved all these gremlins, are helping us with all this stuff, so it makes. You can get that chest. It, yeah, and like sometimes they help you like do a session. Uh, if you didn't save the gremlin, gremlin or gremlins, you'd have to do that yourself. 
Help me? Help you? Pretty much. So now you just gotta get up to that chest now and just to claim your prize. Doesn't this feel like uh, an asteroid coast for an Eggman land? <laughs> Mickey has a pretty high jump, I know, in, uh, at least. Um, he has a decently high jump, but he, he drops so fast. And a silver pin. And um, the thing of the spin is that it does um, give you um, a little bit more distance. But unlike Mario Galaxy, it doesn't play. It doesn't act as a, sec a, a second jump, so it's a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't look like it goes up. It, 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 looks, more like it, it looks like it like slows you down. It just slows down the descent. Yeah, it's uh, kind of wonky. Maybe as if it's like saying like in Banjo or Kazooie, if you were doing instead of like using the flat flutter in order to go up a little more, it just like it just hovers to slow you down or like oh no like a spiral glide really, like a spiral uh, hover send yeah, down. Yeah, kind of. Even though it's very brief. Mm. Gus really likes talking. Hey, uh, All right, this. Oh yeah, now here comes one of the main things for at the ending. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because this, this is a it's small piece of thing here. No, I, I always get this wrong. So you have to find like you have to find his uh, his journal or something, and you just gotta bring it back to him without t showing the townspeople. If you show it to anybody, if you show it to anybody, you have to you have to do a boss fight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an enemy. Which I remember being kind of annoying. I think it's just an enemy gauntlet. But... but it's a relentless gauntlet. I think. That, well, I think you can just like bend the platform. Like under, but under small Pete. Yeah. But we're we're gonna try to avoid that because that is a thing that shows up in the ending. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? That looks weird as hell. But also I'm running. Also I'm like going back and forth with his feet like that. That was like way too fast. Ooh, 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 ooh. That looked really glitchy looking. <laughs> Look like seeing dark environments. <laughs> is there, is there like, does it tell you if you want to show people the log or whatever? Or... I think there's somebody like right outside the thing. Well you need, you just gotta, I think, I think so. Yeah, but um, I think the sequel is a lot more light on colors and all that. This game's a lot darker shaded, and I think I think that, it might probably that might just be the Wii's uh, power. Uh, I guess that's a way it's a way to hide it, but I think it I think it works a lot a lot better than how they did it in two. Although I do I do think two looks nice. Uh, it kind of lost a lot of its identity with being a lot more lighter. Like the tone of the store is overall lighter too, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't evident by... Like, destroying the world, more or less. <laughs> it wasn't also evident by this. Or the fin around yeah. as well. And they're, they're gonna constantly mention it throughout the story. Like, there is a lot of Disney characters in Mickey's Entourage. Cool. Imagine if all these just individual gremlins with their own names or something. Yeah. Like, seriously, these are like Pokemon trainer names at this point. Yeah, we'll try and get as many quests done as possible, but if we fail some of them or whatever, then oh well. We might even miss some. I mean, this game's no Breath of the Wild in terms of that, but still. 
Do you want me to uh, make see make sure just how you make sure you get the right boss fight? And you see what the boss fight? Uh sure. Alright. Um Scrappy, what's the race? See if you can find it. <laughs> see, what, what, what are we looking for? Um small and like see how to avoid the small peat enemy gauntlet. Peat enemy right. gauntlet. Cause we're trying to avoid it, all right? Yeah. What's this? this if, it, if it Mickey Part Six, Gay Peak Coliseum. Gay we're still at the. We're still at the jungle boat ride, right? We're a little bit past that, I think. Oh, Phoenix oh, Master has a part play through. Right. Yeah, there's, there's one place choice, but I could have uh, given the. Gremlin the e tickets to go through this section, but I don't want to use them up or that something like that. It's just pretty easy considered. It is nice though that they give you an option. Yeah. I think you have to do some other stuff first. Yeah. Give it getting major crash two flashbacks with this. The like spinning those little soapy bottle things into the things. Yeah. All I'm missing is the eels in the water. Yep. See small, see small Pete's, uh, small Pete's log. I kind of wish it wasn't. I just kind of wish there weren't any uh, kind of like walkers. They just want five plays. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I think this one will do. It's a big win. Whenever I'm looking for something specific, it's so hard to find. Mm. Especially if it's a game that's uh, forgotten or obscure. 